so I did a little bit of shopping yesterday so I have some things that I want to share with you as far as what I picked up so I went to two stores I went to Joanne Fabrics and then after Joanne Fabrics I left and I went to Sabres thrift store which I love going there to find fabric so as I was walking through I will share with you what I found from Savers. So they had quite a bit of fabric and most of it was knits. So they had this floral, then they had this striped fabric, and then this pink here, another pink dark, this pink with the black floral. Then they had this black and white fabric and blue and white. And then this was like a mint kind of green and a gray knit all knits and then after that you go down and they had this little red knit and this was kind of like a tie-dye knit and this was another type of knit it's just full of knits this was cute it's like a sailor print knit with little hearts on it I thought that that was cute so after I left the fabric section, I went to the magazine section and oh my goodness, look what I found. Yes, score. So even though there was a lot of knit fabric, I only picked out one piece and I will share that with you. And then I will also share with you two sewing makes. So let me share with you what I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. Now the first fabric is just a plain black Ponte knit. That Ponte knit doesn't have a whole lot of stretch. So I just wanted to show you how much it stretches. So it's a pretty stable knit so I was happy to pick this up and I think I want to make a jumpsuit with this. Then the next fabric that I picked up from Joanne's is this gingham. I love gingham and they also had this fabric in green and white. I thought this was really, really cute. I'm thinking maybe a shirt dress with this, maybe. And then I showed you all the knit fabric that they had at Savers, but I didn't get a chance to show you what I picked up. So I picked up this striped fabric which I thought was really cute. It's like a pink and purple stripes. And I don't have a whole lot of fabric here. It's just a yard and an eighth. And I thought about it later. I was like, oh my goodness, that may be hard to match the stripes if I don't have enough fabric to work with because you usually want to buy extra fabric when you're matching stripes. So we'll see. I don't know what this is going to end up being. I thought maybe a t-shirt dress with some white tinnies. I thought that that would be cute, but we shall see. And then, of course, I shared that I found the Threads magazine, which is a cool, cool find. I had never found Threads before at Saver, so I was really excited to find this. And this is from January of 2019 which is cool because I was not subscribed at that time so yes happy to look through this magazine okay so I want to share with you two sewing makes one of which I am wearing this is Simplicity 9014 I made View D and I really did not have any intentions on making View D when I purchased this pattern. However, I made something else with this garment and I had just enough fabric left over to make something small and I thought View D would be perfect. So that is what I made. This view is extremely easy. It's just one pattern piece and you use the same pattern piece for the front and the back. And I do like the neckline because you can wear it up or you can fold it and wear it down. Okay, so the next pattern that I wanna share is Vogue 8299. I saw this pattern and I thought that it was extremely interesting. I wanted to make the little bitty cropped blazer, which is view A, so that's what I did. The pattern does have princess seams in the front, 
there are buttons also in the front of the blazer it is unlined the only thing that I did different is to use gray for the collar because I didn't have enough of the main fabric so I just went through my scraps and decided to just use the gray for the collar this is a 2006 pattern and one thing that was different about this pattern is the collar the left side of the collar is a little bit narrower than the right side of the collar and that was just a, a feature that was in this pattern and this pattern is rated as very easy so before I go my love share so a couple of weeks ago I made a little coat and it is Berta 3342 and in the video I mentioned that I wasn't sure if the pattern was a vintage well someone left me a comment her name is Heidi Wilson Heidi shared a tip with me that she learned on pattern review about how to find the date of a vintage Berta pattern so she said the date is often found in the small numbers on the back corner of the pattern. So as soon as she left the comment, I ran and grabbed my pattern so that I can see what the number was on the back. So I flipped the pattern over and on the upper left hand corner, I saw this 496 slash 3. Heidi shared that she learned that this number means that this pattern is the third pattern in the fourth series that came out in 1996. Duh! <laughs> that was so good to know. Thank you, Heidi.